Hello everybody and welcome to Go Wild Channel. Today we're going to talk about the new upgrade for Luminar 3. If you are a previous Luminar user, you just need to upgrade your uh, previous program for the 3.1.0 version. If you're new for Luminar and you are going to buy now, you don't need to upgrade. For upgrade, you go into the upper uh, panel and check for upgrades and you'll see that there's a new upgrade available in your system. Um, this is in Portuguese because it's my main language. So, if in this new um, upgrade we are going to have the Accent AI 2.0 filter for the artificial intelligent filter that can work your photos, you have the RAW plus JPEG pairs and you have the Selective Sync for adjustments. Then you have better sorting in images and of course the uh, performance improvements and um, stability in this program which is fantastic and is essential because one of the not so good things in Luminar is the stability and the speed. So we're going to take to make the upgrade and we see you in a moment. Okay, so now uh, that the upgrade is complete, we can check it out the version in the, uh, in the left corner of the, our Luminar and uh, you, can, you can see it's uh, version 3.1.0, so it's complete. And now we can check out the new updates in uh, Luminar. Well, the main reason of the update for me, of course, is the Accent AI 2.0. We're, we're going to see it in a moment. But uh, we can see that in the library we can still uh, try to, to put our photos together by um, uh, ratings of stars, by uh, kinds of archive, uh, by the size of the archive, by the color of uh, the etiquette, etc, etc, etc. You can uh, just um, organize your photos the way you want. Uh, Luminar 3.1 has also the new feature of putting RAW versus uh, JPEG pairs. So you they pair the photos of RAW and JPEG, uh, improving your um, your workflow. We're not going to see it now because I don't have here uh, photos that I can use to 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 check it out on that. What we can see and what we want to see in this uh, first review of the new Luminar is our uh, Accent AI, AI filter 2.0 and what he can do. And instantly, as we push the bar to the right and we use the filter, we can see that uh, uh, it's fantastic. The changes in the photo are great and uh, he managed to edit the photo uh, in a higher quality way uh, than the previous version of the AI filter. Uh, he's retaining the, 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 the tones of the Leopard and he's correcting the tones uh, in the, the photo. So it is really, really good um, by the moment and the, in the first uh, view, uh, I'm really happy with this um, change. So now we can uh, apply a noise reduction also to the photo to just to, to, to edit a, a little bit the photo to make it uh, better. Uh, this may be too much. Okay, now it's good. And we're good to go. Of course, you can also use the presets uh, in uh, Luminar. So this is the aerial presets. But uh, I, if I change to essentials that you can see, you have the preset for AI enhancement. Uh, in the lower uh, part of the program so you can you only need to click on the present and the present uh, make instantaneous uh, changes in the photo you also can uh, decide the amount of uh, the present that you want in the photo by just clicking in the arrow to the left and right and deciding the amount of present uh, it will be that it will be in the photo so it is great to edit well, now uh, let's uh, change for this uh, photo. This is a bad photo of a landscape, of a seascape. And for editing purposes, I'm just going to level up the horizon to make it better for editing purposes. And it's okay like this. And just let me uh, correct the chromatic aberrations and the lens distortion. 
and we're good to go and for editing this photo I just need to do this BAM uh, just slide over the accent AI filter button and I have my photo edited. I can improve the sky also with the sky enhancement filter. Where is it? Let me just look for him. Oh, it's here. And uh, the sky uh, enhancement is make, make this uh, that just improve your sky. So it's really, really a great uh, addition to Luminar uh, software edition also. So now if I wanted, I could make another adjustments to my photo and to complete the addition if I was not happy with the Accent AI filter at 100%, so I could make another um, editing improvement. But uh, at overall, uh, the, the, the filter just works perfectly. Uh, this photo of an elephant, um, Okay, I'm not going to edit this one because this one is a JPEG. I don't want JPEGs. And let's uh, move to this photo of the Maasai tribe. This is a woman. And one of the things um, that uh, really um, pleased me in this uh, upgrade of uh, Luminar, it was that uh, this Accent AI 2.0, uh, they say they, that, that they will uh, preserve the skin tones. So... The skin tones in the person, the, uh, the artificial intelligence will preserve the skin tones and just change the background. So let's see if it works. Uh, I'm going to make these changes in the photo um, and see if it, if it can preserve the background or the skin tones. And look at that. Whoa! Whoa, 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 this is just great. What a great change. You see the face of the, the, the woman, it improves uh, in lightning way, but it preserves the skin tones of the person. So it's fantastic. And the background, uh, it did really improve. I'm, not, um, I'm now making some, some minor adjustments to, to improve a little bit the photo. I can do a lot of adjustments in, in Luminar. I have about 52 filters. Uh, able, enable to 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 edit my photo and I can see here that really really this accent 2.0 filter just work let me just make here a, a crop to improve a little bit the photo but you can see that uh, the improvement was great let's see this group of Maasai women and I'm going to do the same thing uh, just use the filter from accent AI filter and scrolling over to the right and you see the changes happening so you can pass from a not so good photo for to a better photo just using this one filter just using the filter without touching with the raw adjustments without touching uh, to blacks to whites to, to to shadows to highlights nothing just making one adjustment in one filter this is the power of luminar and this is what i love in luminar um, you can see here, of course, if you want, you have uh, also the ability to change uh, or to tweak this uh, small um, uh, adjustments uh, here in uh, development mode. Uh, and you can adjust the, the blacks, the highlights, the whites, the shadows, etc., etc. But for me, you don't actually need this because this new filter just works fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is one uh, short video about this new update for Luminar. If you want to purchase Luminar, you have a referral link uh, down below in the description. It is the same price to you and it keep, uh, what it makes is uh, you can help uh, keeping this uh, channel alive. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, use Luminar because it's a great, great, great uh, software edition, edition program. Thank you.